With the release of Blender 3.5, we now have access to the amazing real-time view compositor. So let's take a look at how to activate that and some of the limitations of it. Now, first things first, it's super simple to activate. You come up over here and you need to be in render view. Now this works in both EV mode and cycles mode. However, if you're on a lower end machine, I recommend EV as it does add a bit of processing time. So what you wanna do is come up to this little arrow up under here under your shading tab, and you can come down here underneath the render passes, we have a new section called compositor. By default, it'll be set to disabled because it does take a bit of extra processing power. And then we have the camera option, which will make it only visible within the camera. And if I rotate it here, you can see that you can set it to always as well. And then this will apply all the effects you have to any view that you have in the viewport. I recommend leaving it on camera for the sake of kind of processing power, but also being able to see what you're doing. Now let's talk a bit about kind of limitations and some other things here. So what I love about this is it's pretty great, works right here in the viewport, as we said, so I can go ahead and alter things like my lens distortion, my glare effects and any sort of color grading, or in this case, I have these kind of little lens orbs kind of composited over everything. And it's amazing being able to see all this real time before going to a final composite. There are certain effects that will not work over here, and they actually have a full list that you can check out here. You don't want to just sit here and read the list on screen, so I'll tell you some of the highlights that are kind of missing at the moment. Surprisingly, it's a pretty robust selection of effects that currently work. However, we are missing crypto mats, ID masks, and then most notably, it can only do one render layer at a time. So in this example here, when I go ahead and hit render, you see that I have multiple layers compositing at once. Currently, this only works on the existing render layer you're doing. It's not going to composite multiple render layers in the viewport for you at this time. So next up, I wanna point out that one of the popular effects that we'll be missing is the fog effect from the glare node. As you see here, let me go ahead and lower this threshold. Streaks are working perfectly fine, but if I go ahead and switch this over to fog glow, it no longer works. So that's another popular one that doesn't work. Of course, this is an amazing new feature. It allows us to get closer to the final result in our viewport, thus making it easier for us as artists to work and determine the final output of our project. It's always exciting to see such strong new features added in versions of Blender. Let me know your favorite new feature from 3.5 in the comments below, and thank you for watching.